So Makai Becton is so interesting. Left tackle from Louisville. Um, first of all, he's like six, seven, 370 pounds or something. Combine nerds, help me out, put it down in the comments or whatever. Right. So you get this big old dude, right? Big, strong dude, but he has fantastic feet and he does not know how to play football just yet. Very interesting. Um, he's really good at just mauling people, but not even in a technical way. Um, if you watch my Andrew uh, Thomas film session, I talked about him not even knowing how to lean on people yet. He don't even know how to be 365 pounds yet, but he's a very raw athlete that doesn't know football yet but he's good at it right now where he currently is take a look at him at left tackle right here and you're gonna see a lot of plays that look like this let me just run it he's a left tackle right now you're gonna see a lot of plays that just look like that him just rolling up on people and just getting them the hell up out the paint and listen 43 ain't no small dude. I, I had to go look at the Clemson roster because I was under the impression that these were just small people. No, these are 265 pound athletes. This guy, that guy, they about 260 or so. It's just that Makai is like 360. So he's still a hundred pounds bigger than them. Tossing and finishing guys, fantastic. Even on this play, right? He's a left tackle. Take a look at him. There's no real O-line technique here. This is just pure, like, just beating up on this dude. Like, he ain't even got his knees bent. Like, like watch this. Like, it's not like he came off the ball, hands inside, bent his knees, hat level good, drive, and finish. He, he didn't do typical technique things. He just did, I'm better than you things. <laughs> I'm bigger and stronger than you things. And just got he, he just getting people up out the paint bro is it's so interesting it's so interesting to watch here and not not even a lick of technique uh, he has some technique i don't want to make it seem like he's a barbarian out there playing football he has some technique but and he, and he might be on the ass whoop team because of this but he's beating people with just pure ass whoop right here man he look how he's standing up he ain't even bending his knees <laughs> listen i saw this play i thought my film was skipping it, look at what he does to number 35 here who who is a 265 pound man you can check the check the uh clemson roster if you need to just easily just bench pressing people let's do it in slow motion take a look at him just bench press i thought at first when i first saw this i thought the left guard was helping left guard barely even touched the cat look at this in slow motion left guard barely even touched him Makai Becton is just bench pressing this dude, shoving him. Now, can you go to the National Football League only shoving people? No, you're going to need technique to win those fights in the National Football League. But something that's going to help him in the National Football League, he's 375 pounds, he got long arms, he's strong, he can move really well. You can teach him how to put his hands on people and how to bend his damn knees. But, 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 but if you could just purely bench press grown men like that, that'll help. That's a good start. Let's talk about the finesse side of his game, right? Uh, not just him mauling guys in the run game. Let's take a look at some at some pass setting stuff. Uh, if you look at his feet, he, he's 360, but it's not like he's pounding his feet. You know how when you look at a like a heavier offensive lineman, they're pounding their feet. He's not pounding his like he, his feet are heavy because he's heavy, but it's not like he's struggling to move here. Like he's he's got some pretty good pass set movement to him, right? Sometimes there's this there's this idea or the notion that your feet have to be quick. But sometimes you can have quick feet and not cover ground really well. Like Makai Becton has good feet for 360 something and he's covering ground pretty well. Right. It's not like he's 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 getting tore up on the outside or anything like that. So so you you take everything that we talked about. Uh, plus some good feet, plus some good athleticism. I'm, I'm going to show you another example. Look at this. Just watch this. Take a look at how he's moving on his reach block right here. Left tackle. Just just, just watch this. Take a look at him. Versus a guy that's clearly more athletic than him, right? Um, th that's, that's, that's just fantastic. That's just fantastic reach blocking. Now, is it the best reach block we've ever seen? Like, did he get to the, to the, um, did he get to the other side of his shoulder? No, nah, he didn't get his head on the other side. No. So it's not a perfect reach block, but this man is 360 pounds doing this reach block which is a fantastic reach block i'm just being nitpicky because i'm i mean i just get that way with my offensive lineman or whatever but man look you take that power that we saw 360 and get it moving like that man i'm with that all day of the week watch this he's right here uh left tackle watch him glide to the second level in block 47 right here just watch him glide just look at him take a look at this snap 
perfect. Perfect. Then he, then he gonna deliver a blow when he get there. Check, check him out. Check out your boy, man. Like he is a big ball of clay, and he is a big ass ball of clay. But man, like th 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 this is a real upside pick right here, right? Like you remember Greg Little? We're we're talking about Greg Little, and they were talking about him being big and but he can move well, so he's a ball of clay. Well, I think Greg Little was S word and a little L word. Chat box help the people that are confused with what S word and L word means, right? I don't think Makai Becton, he definitely ain't, ain't S word, but he's not L word neither. Like he, like he look, look at him. <laughs> he's fantastic. I'm a fan of him. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute. Let's talk about one of the negatives I saw, right? Of course, he's very raw. And like this whole video was a negative, basically, because he, he just didn't have a lot of technique to what he was doing. But this is another negative that I saw, and it comes from the uh, from the passing game. I wouldn't hold y'all too long here. Um, when he's pass setting, and you don't get a lot of pass sets because um, Louisville does a lot of movement-based pass blocking. They do a lot of play action and run faking stuff. So you don't really see a lot of true pass sets from, uh, from back then there. But... When he does get a get a true pass set in, what you notice is that he does let guys get real close to him. And um, I know his his arms are like mad long. Like whenever the combine comes out, we'll, we'll, we'll have his wingspan. But he let this dude get a little too close to him, right? Now, he didn't lose the battle because he, he is a, a powerful dude. He is 360, so he didn't really lose this fight here. But just take a look at his arm. See, see just how his elbows bent here. He didn't really get it, get any, any good extension there. You got long arms. Use extension, and and you'll put hands on guys way before they can even get to you. Um, so we'll know his exact measurement soon. But w once he learns how to like not T Rex arm it or whatever, um, he'll he'll be an even better pass blocker there. Uh, traveling, how did he travel? those short steps are annoying but that's all he needed <laughs> he didn't need to take big steps but uh yeah that short arm thing that's something that somebody's gonna have to fix and here's another example just so we know that there's no hateration or holleration you know what i mean uh we're gonna kick 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 get to this point but he got real close to you man like punch the hell out of that dude man like like see 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 how much bend is in his elbows right now he's got a lot of bend in his elbows and, and it doesn't have to be that way he can really use some of his length to get people up off him and this wouldn't even have been a fight he won this fight don't get me wrong like he won the past two reps technically um but hey man using using some of that arm length to help him out a little bit and who this quarterback think he is lamar jackson it's a little bit joke anyway i don't want to hold y'all too long man but um makai beckton big fan of him man big big fan of him. he's just raw uh but he probably has the most upside out of any of the offensive linemen that uh that are in this draft or whatever so you just kind of got to pick what's good for you and uh you know take that guy hope your offensive line coach does him justice and run with him all right, y'all hold down for the Doski Woski, man. Follow my Patreon, PayPal, uh, Twitter, V O C H L O N B A R D I. We give away free merch every week. See y'all next time. Salute.